Welcome back guys. A uh, little bit of an update on the mechanical side of things for the uh, homebrew 3D printer. I ordered an E3D V6 head with a 0.4 uh, millimeter nozzle and that came. came with the fan and the, and the fan housing and, and the connector for the Bowden tube. It came with this nice bit of uh, tubing for a Bowden tube and actually they included the other end um, which wasn't specific on their listing at first and then they updated their listing to show that it included that. It also included this wonderful um, volcano nozzle kit which is pretty cool. Um, it came mostly assembled in the bag and I checked it because I mean that's a long way to come in just a little bag. I checked the uh, heating cartridge and the uh, thermistor um, for ohm that it was within spec on the ohms and then of course I held the heat block with my hand and I watched the thermistor rise so that's fine I plug the fan in that works everything else is physically mechanical and looks to be in good shape um, this particular um, version of the E3D which is supposed to be an E3D V6 clone um, has the fatter inside inside here it's the universal so you could use this direct drive or as a uh, Bowden, but it came with the Bowden style kit. I think if I spin this around this way, the lighting stays, it moves inside. That's the problem with the, the fan housing on this. Uh, yeah, you can see the, um, it's a point, oh, yeah, 0.4, it's a 0.4 nozzle. Um, so yeah, that part was purchased as a new part, like I didn't really have a way around that. I knew I'd have crap prints if I just bought somebody's used nozzle, because let's face it, um, a hot end, you can buy the clones off of eBay, I think this one was $13, and, it, and then this stuff was included with it, which was pretty cool. Um, you can buy these so cheap, new, or supposedly new, um, as clones, that if you bought a used one, you don't know why that used one is used, why somebody's getting rid of their used um, weird saw a reflection in there with the camera that I couldn't see with my eye anyhow you don't know what had gone on with the used one so anyhow I got that and used my meter checked the ohms very quickly I didn't have to hook anything up to um, the uh, a board or anything it was just a very quick test that the cartridge was in the right um, spec for for what it should be the um, I can't remember what the ohms for the cartridge was off the top of my head but you can if you've got a working one and you take the, the resistance of that, even though it's in circuit, it'll be pretty darn close to what it should be for this. And I think they were within like a half an ohm. The um, thermistor, uh, I checked it, and it was under 100 ohms and was within spec from the eBay page. And then when I held the heat block with my hands, I could see the value rising. So um, that was perfect. The... Um, other thing that came with these little guys, I'm just going to pull them a little closer here. Um, these were used from Lord knows what. <laughs> Printers, I think. Uh, steppers. And I don't think they came from 3D printer. I think they were just salvaged out of various uh, like desktop printers. Yeah, hopefully the fan on my laptop wasn't just too noisy there, but uh, anyhow, it shut off. Um, these all shipped in one box and that's why you can see like the face of them are covered on dents and dings and one of them here shows very specifically what happens when you pack th motors together without enough packing material the wires get pinched between but they all mechanically turn perfectly very smooth you can just barely feel the um, indexing of the of the steps just lightly in fact they're better than some of my other motors that I made my laser my homebrew laser um, engrafer with that one you could really feel the indents. These ones are very smooth. Um, they ohm out to about 3 ohms on every coil. I think 3.6 ohms or something like that. So they're all perfectly the same that way. I also um, uh, put the uh, the meter on voltage and did every coil, turning it with a constant speed source. I just used my uh, cordless screwdriver with a chuck in it and spun them all at the same speed and measured each coil and they all got the same voltage so that tells me regardless of what the silly little stickers on the side say they are pretty much mechanically all the truthfully the same stepper motor um, so that'll be easy for matching them uh, further for example I can pick two and know let's see for example these two 
uh, will be fine to work together as the z-axis for the for the 3d printer now the wire is being damaged and it's mostly this blue wire which has a slightly different texture to it i think it's weaker than the other coating on the other wires i think it got caught between like the edges of these in shipping like hitting each other um i think uh that's not too bad of a, an issue anyways because these wires were way too short i was going to be taking them off and then uh, soldering on a much longer lead um, if I have to, I'll open these up and solder right, new wires right into the, uh, there should be some terminals on the inside. Um, if not, there should be leads to the actual coils themselves on the inside, but they were going to be getting replaced anyway, so that's not a biggie. The other sort of neat things about these motors, um, if I can get one up here where we can see it in the light, um, is it going to focus? Maybe it will, maybe it won't. focus on me there we go um, the M3 screws pass up through that plate now at first I was a little bit like hmm, I'll just cut those off or something or get different ones but then I realized I can just use nuts down on those I can mount this into something and just tighten nuts down so that might actually be a little bit better for my design but um, that's the motors um, little bit physically nicked but they all super smooth um, I haven't hooked them up to a stepper driver yet but considering that all the coils will mount to exactly the same value and they do produce the exact same voltage when spun at about the same rpm I would say they're they should be just fine now they're not big motors they are the NEMA 17 footprint that way but they're only 42 millimeters thick so um, they're not super strong, but they should be fine for the kind of printer I'm thinking of doing. Um, yeah, so anyhow, that's the mechanicals update, a little update to the uh, home-built uh, 3D printer idea. Um, some stuff that came in the post. There's a lot more little things that should have been here already based on time. If these guys are getting here, there's a lot more little things that should have been here um, that just haven't gotten here yet. So, anyhow, that's it. Small update. Went probably a little longer than expected. If you have any questions or comments, whatever, uh, put them down below. Um, I usually get to them. And uh, if you like, don't forget to like. And uh, if you like this kind of stuff and are following along, don't forget to subscribe. Um, you never quite know what my next videos might be about or if they're just little updates like this or some of my crazy inventions. And uh, as always, thanks for watching.